goofy looking dog, this goofy crazy eyes. All right, so now I thought I would just go ahead and do a little bit of a haul from my antique tripping my antique tripping, my antique trip that I took on my birthday last week. And some of the things were shown in the video and some were not. Um, I did go to Goodwill. I went to two Goodwills and I, you're gonna see, I didn't really get hardly anything. So I'll show you what I got from the antique mall first and then I will show you the things that I got from Goodwill. All right, so one of the things that I got, which, which this was in the video, was this little flower frog that it was original in its original packaging. I have a lot of flower, fro flower frogs, but I don't have one like this. So I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it. Part of me wants to because I'm afraid if I sell it, they're gonna take it out of the package. And I know that that's just silly but it's been in its original package for all these years. Look at the packaging. Look at the packaging and look at the back. I'm just a sucker for this stuff. So originally it was 79 cents. What did I pay for this? I, I wanna say I paid four, $4 or $5 for it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet. I, I think it would be neat in a display, like for a spring display, but I kinda like it kept in the package so I got this don't mind me I I, I I do things that don't make all the sense in the world this is one thing that you did see in the video was this little um, tobacco tin I love the graphics on it that it had kind of a military graphic on it so this I think will look really neat in a 4th of July display so I'm keeping this as well. These I'm going to sell, and they are, I think they were three for a dollar, um, were these vintage postcards. Now these are three Easter postcards, but look on the bunnies to wish you a happy Easter. He kind of looks like he's getting ready to attack that bunny a little bit. And then this one with the little chick, Easter joys be thine. And it's kind of sparkly. This one was 1909 is the postmark date. This one is 1911, the postmark date. They've all been written on. And this one is 1910. Oh, it's for Ira. Man, I, I'll have to go through and read these. So I got those. They were three for a dollar. So I kind of picked out the ones. I like the ones that are very um, obvious what season or what um, holiday they're from for. Then this was a little girl I got for 99 cents. She's a salt and pepper shaker. I'm going to keep her. She's made in Japan. I have a couple little Dutch boys that I'm going to put her with. So I just think that she's so cute for 99 cents. Yeah, I'll buy you for 99 cents. And then we have the Holt Howard Roosters. Now, these I am going to be listing on eBay as an auction very soon. So, be though, they, these are going to make a reappearance in another video in the next couple weeks. So, make sure that you watch that video. But these are Holt Howard, dated 1950. This series has a name. I'll post it somewhere here. But uh, these will be available. They're in excellent condition. There's no no chips on them anywhere. Actually, these are 1960. I said 1950. They're 1960 Holt Howard. Now, a lot of times Holt Howard won't have the sticker on them anymore, but and sometimes they don't even have this little painted Holt Howard or HH. Sometimes they're marked HH. So, I just recently bought me a Holt Howard book that I'm going to start studying so when I'm out and about I can spot these and even though they're not marked i'll still know what they are so these will be available very soon then these will be available on a wednesday sale very soon and these cute little shakers it's i'm cloves and i'm all spice now th these were part of a whole spice set and isn't this a fun way to store your spices they're made in japan 
but they're just so cute. Look, they're like mouths are wide open to deliver your spices. Now, one of them, this one just has a little bitty chip right there out of his beak, but to put these on a shelf, they're just so fun. They do both have their stoppers. In them and you know sometimes people may be missing the cloves out of their spice set or the allspice out of their spice set and then they're, they're gonna need to buy another one and you know it was my birthday so pretty much everything but a couple things that i bought at the antique mall was for myself um i'm going through a lusterware phase right now i love lusterware cream and sugar dishes so these were in the video they're in excellent condition made in japan and they were five dollars for the set so that was a no-brainer for me they're in excellent condition i love the luster now i myself like the blue and the orange more pro the blue more prominent with the orange but for five dollars i'll add these to my collection the last thing i got from the antique mall is just so fun i love this so much it's this goofy looking dog this goofy crazy eyes now, this was made in Occupied Japan, which is the stuff that I really like is the Occupied Japan stuff. I mean, I like the made in Japan stuff too, the pottery pieces and the ceramics, but the made in Occupied Japan are the things that I, I'm really trying to find. He is just a fun, crazy-eyed dog. He's a little planter, so I think he's a dog. I think you're a dog, but oh, I just, he's cute, so he will be mine. And that's all I got from the antique mall. Like I said, it, it was kind of pricey in there. It wasn't a whole lot to, to for resell in there, but I did get some things for myself since it was my birthday. So the things that I got at Goodwill are next. The first thing is something that I may keep. I'm going to take it home and see if I want to keep it, is this mirrored vanity tray. I have sold these before, but I kind of want to use this on my dresser. So I'll take it home and decide. And if I don't, it'll be for sale. But I paid $2.99 for it at Goodwill. And then I got, she was 99 cents. I've never found one of these before. What is the artist's name? Um, Susan Polly? Susan Polly. This is Roseanne. And I know that these are, these do have a little bit of a resale value. So I thought for 99 cents, I would go ahead and get her. I think that she's a, is she a candlestick holder or a tumbler? I don't know because like there's no like small space for the candle to stick in. So I don't know what you are, Roseanne, but you are going to be for sale. <laughs> that I do know because I'm not keeping you, Roseanne. I don't like you that much, but I do know that these do have some resale value. So I thought for 99 cents. We'll see. This is a souvenir piece from Hawaii. It's Aloha from Hawaii and it's never been opened. So it's got this like monkey paw um, wood. I don't know that this is monkey paw. It maybe not isn't as old as I think that it is, but I thought it was fun because look at the little pineapple on one side and the hula girl on the other. So I just thought I would try to sell these. It was $2.99, which was maybe was too much to pay for them, but it's just a fun little souvenir piece, so I picked it up. Now, I did, I cleared out, I didn't clear it out, because they have a lot of grab baggy things in the Goodwill, so I did get a lot of things from the, back, the grab bags. I got several bags of face masks. You know, face masks. There are tons of them in here, so I got these to use as package toppers for my packages, so if you order something from me, you're gonna get you a face mask too, so you can have a spa day. But for $2.99 getting, I mean, there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 12 to 15 face masks in each one. So that was a good idea. Here's another one. Just full of face masks. Oh, and a fourth one. Face masks for days. So I got those. And then I did get a couple more bags to use as package toppers. And I don't really know quite what all is in there, so we're gonna open these up. Oh, well, let me show you this one first. <clears throat> I did get these are different words and different phonetic pronunciation things, which I don't care as much for these. I basically wanted it for this. I know that in a lot of displays, people will use these little flashcards, like this one says Mary, so you may 
find Mary. I don't know if there's Christmas will be in here. You might see bunny or duck that you can put in a flower frog just to add as a little bit of a display. So for $2.99, I basically just wanted the stack. I just kind of thought that these could, would be, I would use these things for package toppers. So these are like, they were trying to sell them for a dollar. Um, these little cards and on the back it says Honey Bee by Susan Baxter, Brown County, Indiana, 2016, seven of nine. They're just stamps. They were trying to sell for a dollar. Okay. I mean, they're, they're not stamps. They're just pieces of paper that have been stamped. Is this lady a famous lady? Susan Bass Baxter, are you famous in the, in the stamping world? I don't know. But these would be, I thought they'd be cute as package toppers. So there's a whole bunch of those. And homemade cards. So cute. There's a little homemade card with a fairy on it. They were trying to sell that one for $2. So just some cards, some blank cards that were that are homemade, which is nice. I thought that it, they would be great to use as package choppers or, you know, if I need a card. So basically, these are basically all cards. And you know, they're all in, they all came in these baggies. So I'm gonna be reusing those baggies. I mean, just the baggies alone I use in shipping. So that was a good deal. And like these little ones for brooches and things. Yeah. Okay, that was a good deal, Misty. Good good job. Good job, Misty. And then this one, I think has stickers in it. And it also has these little um finger. We are number one. I can put one on each hand. I could probably put one on each finger. We're number one. We're number one. We're number one. Look, we're number one. So that's fun. So there's lots of these. I can use them as package choppers. Again, this bag was $2.99 for everything inside. So there's more. And stickers. Oh, and handmade stickers Christmas and then puppies and kitties this is what I mean about package toppers you know I mean I bought look through your if you're wanting to do them look through the grab bags at Goodwill because for $2.99 I have a year's worth of package toppers oh I'm gonna have to send these to somebody look at the pug those remind me of Anne Eckhart so there's footballs. Ooh, these are sandalion stickers. Those are vintage, aren't they? Is that sandalion? Is there a date? Huh. So again, I can use these as package choppers. So for $2.99 for all of this stuff, it'll get used, it'll get recycled back to be used for good again. All right, so those, that's what I bought from that day. So that video that you that you had watched yesterday, I will link it below. That is the stuff that I got from that day, which wasn't a whole lot. Now I did go to Goodwill today, and I will show you the things that I got today because I did get coffee mug. This coffee mug was 69 cents. It's Conrail, so it's a train. And it does have, say Conrail all the way around it. So train things can be pretty collectible. There isn't a maker's mark on this, and I swore I wasn't gonna buy any more coffee mugs. But here I am. And I don't know why I bought this one either. It was also 69 cents. I don't think it has. I don't think it's that old. But it's Denny's. Denny's till dawn. And I liked the moon on the other side. It was 69 cents as well. So I also bought in another grab bag was a stack full of recipes and recipe books. Like, you know, like these little books. I like to look through these. Look at the colors on that one. Because I like like little homemaker tips. So like this page here. Practical suggestions for busy housemakers. So let's see. Oh, perfume, skin lotions, wine, and liquors, anything with an alcohol base, should be kept far away from your pearls. 
So just know that you shouldn't be keeping those things near your pearls. Um, so I don't know. I just like reading some of these things. It's just because times have changed and you know, we're not all Susie homemakers anymore. So there's a whole slew. So this person, this person cut out of a magazine, all of these helpful, practical tips for busy homemakers. Oh, look at this kitchen too. Isn't that fun? I wish I knew when these were from. I mean, obviously, from they're from they are definitely from the fifties. But so anyway, I don't know. Sometimes I buy things just because I want to sit down and read them because I think that they're funny. So I got that stack for two ninety nine. Then I got another another silver tray with a little feet on it. This one is Wallace silver plate. It was two ninety nine. It was half price, and it has the initials i think that's an o in there so these are really pretty to use and um, you can put a flower pot on them or however you want to use them but i love silver pieces so i got that i also got this big aluminum serving tray that i'm going to keep for myself i just think that it's a fun thing that you can um, use out on your patio or porch i like it it was 2.99 it doesn't have a name on it anywhere Oh, actually it does. It is Keystone Wear. So I just thought this would be a fun thing to use for the summertime when I'm entertaining, which I do so often. And then I did pick up these Korok, I always say this wrong, but these um, kind of a lacquerware plate. There's the Roadrunner, I think. Are you a Roadrunner? I don't know if you're a Roadrunner. And then here's another bird. But they've so kindly... Covered up. Are you a quail? I haven't looked these up, but I think I've sold these before. They're made from Kurok of Kurok of Monterey, California. Hand inlaid by master craftsmen's. So um, you can't burn these with cigarettes or boil water. I mean, they're they're indestructible basically. So you can eat on them. Although I don't think I would. The the birds on here are a transfer, so honestly, I just wouldn't put them in your dishwasher. They need to be hand washed. So I got this. We will see. That's all. That's that's all I got today at Goodwill. Like I said, Goodwill's not been hopping for me lately. Hi, it's me again, and I'm just going to hop in here because the video that you just watched of the haul video was from yesterday, and I meant to add it to you know, the video with my vlog, but it was going to be too long. So I have that video that will be going up. And so I thought I might show you um, some things that dad just recently picked up that will be going into a sale very, very soon. So let me turn the camera. Actually, well, yeah, I'll turn the camera around. We're just going to do it this way. So I have some black Americana chalkware pieces and some pear chocolate wear pieces. This nice little Hall, H-A-L-L, Pottery Ivy plate. I'm gonna cover up her bits, but we got this girl here. I don't know if anybody would be interested in her, but Dad thought she was fabulous. But I mean, we're gonna cover up her, her bits. We'll turn you side, we'll turn you around, girl. There, um, and then he did pick up a planter this planter will be available in my next sale next week it's a leopard isn't that fabulous um and then we got some more i'm not sure which one i'm going to show they're both a stars and bars this one's clear and this one is flash painted like an amber so still trying to decide he also picked up this really fun gray planter i picked up a puta schnuda I like Puda Schnudas. And this is just a single shaker. I'm not sure if anyone wants Millie. She's all by her lonesome. She doesn't have her Willie. Because it's Millie and Willie, and Willie's not with her. So maybe you have a Willie and you need a Millie. If you do, let me know. Uh, 
I have this fun little squirrel South Dakota creamer. So my goal is to try to get all of this stuff that's on the counter in a sale because it's, you know, kind of going a little crazy. I have some anthropomorphic banana shakers. Look, I like how their heads are bananas and they have human bodies. They look a little worried. Um, I also have this really stunning brass a mailbox made by, who are you made by? Kerbin. Kerbin. So that's a really cool piece. Some more of those records. And let me just show you. Oh, here's another Puda Schnuda. He needs cleaned. He's a dirty Puda. I'm going to clean him up. Um, I have some more of these records. I have Peter Cottontail and Dixie Home Sweet Home. And that's what I want for Christmas. So I have those. I think I'm going to put this picture. So I, I don't know. And I have this little Morton Pottery French Bulldog planter. So my goal is to try to get a lot of this stuff listed or not listed, but in the sale next week. So this counter can be cleared off because it's, well, it's quite messy. Now I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that it was a little bit late. Things just happen. And so I just wanted to make sure that you were able to see the haul from my little birthday thrift store antique mall shopping spree. Uh, so I hope that you liked it. If you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.